Hi guys, this past weekend I went to the Renaissance Fair with Nicole and we dressed up as pirates. Ah! And and what is your name? Um, my name my mum named me Isabella. I'm <laughs> Spanish, but I do my Bellatrix now. That horrid little wench stole my name and this my good name of well, Bella. What was a glittering man and all? Yeah, the sparkling Yeah! Why scoot back so you can see your own costume. Yeah! I have purchased something called cheese bread. <laughs> you purchased it. <laughs> I'm eating it. So. She chose it. Is it cheesy? Is it bready? It kind of tastes like a cheese. Are you enjoying your turkey legs? Ah! <laughs> we need to go buy a fireball or something. It was a lot of fun. Almost immediately getting there, we ran into the Prince of the Fair who introduced us to their fa his father, the king. Unfortunately, there's not any um, footage of it, but I thought I would reenact it for you wearing a crown and a pirate hat. <laughs> Look, father, I found some pirates. Son, why do you keep picking up such strange women? Well, I, I, I didn't pick them up. Um, they're kidnapping me, you see. We've come to pillage your kingdom. Well, if you do any pillaging, um, I would suggest pillaging the Shire first, because, well, if you pillage my son first, you might find him lacking in, um, the booty department. <laughs> so after the whole incident with the Prince and the King, we kept running into the Prince throughout the day. I mean, we saw him at least, like, four or five times. So he decided he had to prove his father wrong, saying that, yes, he did have some booty. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> we also saw a lot of animals. There are also some camels here. Llama here. <laughs> <laughs> there were also a lot of musicians there. <laughs> and Nicole got serenaded too. <laughs> Alright, are you getting a good picture here? Wait, do you want me to record it or take a picture? Oh, okay. I'm recording right now. Okay. Some of the big highlights include seeing the washing wall lunches, which are my favorite. parked next to us were noticed that we had a Doctor Who rubber sticker on our car, and so they started talking to us, you know, oh, we have a friend here who's dressed up like the Doctor. So naturally, Nicole and I immediately set out to find the man, and we did, and it turns out we, he's the same Doctor that we met at Starfest, and that was just so cool, because he totally recognized us. It was great. So I got this um, handmade journal, because I'm a nerd and I like things like this, and I also got a handmade replica of Harry's wand from the first couple Harry Potter movies. It even has a phoenix feather inside. <laughs> nerd fighters. Speaking of Harry Potter and nerd fighters and stuff like that, um, congratulations to the HPA for winning the $250,000. Good job, nerd fighters, for reducing world suck. He gave us tips on how to ride a camel without a... And how would, how would one ride a camel? Well, you have to be really careful because when they stand up, they just go whoosh. And it's like... You could fall forward. Oh, yeah. Face. So maybe he's seen people fall forward and camel poo off the camel into camel poo. That sounds lovely. No, thanks. I'm good. We'll fall forward into camel poo. <laughs> I'm tempted. I'm not going to lie. No. 